Plane Wave Instruments would like to demonstrate the capabilities of our direct drive mounts for the industries of space situational awareness and laser communications. This first satellite, CSAT-1, was located at approximately a height of 750 kilometers during its pass on January 2nd, 2019. We utilized our remote telescope, a CDK-400, which is an L500 mount and CDK-17 optical tube, to capture data showing the satellite passing. During the video, you'll notice that the stars are passing as straight line streaks, demonstrating the power of our tracking via open loop, entirely without feedback from image analysis software. The second low Earth orbit satellite that we captured on the evening of January 2nd, 2019 with our remote telescope was Tiangong 2. We utilized the same Altaz L500 mount with our CDK-17 optical tube. We utilized a Finger Lakes Instrument Kepler 400 series scientific CMOS camera to provide high frame rate that we can turn into a video showing the actual satellite pass. Again, you'll notice that the stars are actually passing as streaks, demonstrating the powerful open loop tracking that our plane wave instruments direct drive mounts are capable of even without the feedback from image analysis software to correct the tracking. Also take note that for both of these passes, image derotation is not being applied, which is why each satellite appears to rotate around the center of the image and why the stars appear to change direction throughout the pass. We chose these two passes, Tiangong 2 and CSAT, due to their brightness and altitude they were passing overhead from Sierra Remote Observatories, where our telescope was located at. We wanted to select relatively low, low Earth orbit satellites to demonstrate how our software and direct drive mounts are capable of tracking such high velocity satellites. The application for these mounts include space situational awareness and also laser communications.